Yo, yo, tips. Tips. yo tips, yo tips, yo tips, yo tips. Welcome back, everyone. Josh here with Angling Outings, and today I'm going to show you how to maintain and oil your spinning reel. And I'm going to be using this Shimano reel that I've had for almost 30 years. I bought this back in either 1993, 1992, right in there. And I've been using it ever since. This is the reel I use today for my ultralight fishing, for crappie, bluegill, other kinds of sunfish and small species fish. So don't go anywhere, folks. We'll be right back. It's Angling Outings with Josh and Cletus. Angling Outings is brought to you by our YouTube affiliates, Retro Backbeat and Josh and Joe Productions. On this episode, Spinning Reel Maintenance. This episode needs no introduction because I don't have to sell myself to show you that that this maintenance tip really works. I purchased this um, Shimano, uh, what is it, Axual 5 back in like 1992, 1993. As you can see there, I mean, it's it's my daily user for my ultralight gear. Um, and uh, it I've caught everything on here up to a three pound flathead catfish while crappie fishing. So, uh, this reel is very durable and I mean, it's 30 years old and I still use it. So it's a good reel. And um, it, it, I perform the maintenance on it when needed and it has lasted me all these years. So without further ado, let's get right into how to oil your spinning reel. All right, folks, um, this here is a spinning reel. It doesn't matter what kind of spinning reel you have, what size it is. This is a 500 series Shimano Axul, um, yeah, A-X-U-L-5. It's a 500 series. Um, I use it for ultralight. I use four pound line on here. Uh, I don't think I've ever really used two pound line on here, but I, I pretty much stick to four pound line when I do my ultralight fishing. So I wanna show you what to do to maintain your uh, your spinning reels. Now, we're, this isn't the, the show where we're gonna tear it all apart and um, uh, put new grease and everything in it. We're just gonna do the maintenance tips in here uh, that you should do uh, depending on how often you fish. Uh, if you fish a lot, do it about every two or three months. If you don't fish that much, do it about once a year. So we're only going to use uh, just some uh, real oil. Use a premium real oil. This one is a Lucas real oil. It's a, it's a high quality real oil. So, um, and it doesn't cost that much. And uh, I really like the product. I've used Lucas products uh, for a long time. I really like what they have to offer. Now, the first thing you wanna do is um, uh, oil this little handle here. Go in there with a drop like that and spin that handle around a few times. Get that oil all mixed up in there. There we go. And uh, sometimes um, you can take the handle off. There'll be these little bearings in there. This reel doesn't have one. This is a retro reel. So, um, you know, the everything that it has is inside the casing, which uh, I'm not gonna get to today. Um, next thing you wanna you want to uh, oil is the bail here. So we'll put a drop on that side and we'll put a drop, if I can get over here, over here on, over here on this side. And then we're just going to move the bell back and forth several times get that oil worked in there I might move the handy dandy camera a little bit closer there we go how's that everyone is that a little better all right <clears throat> now after you work that in there uh, this little roller bearing right here could use a little bit of grease that that little piece that your line goes over so We'll go ahead and drop up in there like that. Um, uh, I don't have a rubber band with me, but you can use a rubber band and roll it back and forth and get that, that roller bearing 
um, rolling around. <laughs> um, but I'll have to go ahead and do that here in just a little bit. Um, take off the cap here. Um, a lot of the spinning reels I've seen, especially the uh, front drag ones, this is how you take the spool off. Now, it's been a long time since I've seen a real, uh, a rear drag adjustment. Uh, I've seen those on a lot of the retro ones that I've had many years ago. Uh, and with those, you just push a button on the top of the spool, push the button and it comes right off. But I haven't seen one of those in many years. So, um, what we're gonna do here is you wanna adjust that post right there to where it's all the way out, okay? You just turn your, just turn your handle. See that post going up and down? That goes up and down for your line to evenly go on your spool. So you want to pull it up like right there. There it goes. And right on that post, it goes down into the gear casing. And this is why you don't have to open up the gear casing a lot. Put a little bit right at the base of that, that post right there. And reel it around. Get that oil all mixed up in inside that, that post right there. Okay, and uh, there we go. So we'll go ahead and put that on there. There we go. For the brake system there. Okay, and here we are. We are pretty much done. I mean, there's not a lot that you need to do with the spinning reel. You got your handle there. Um, you have your bail operation here. You have your your line roller right there and you have the post on the inside. So that right there is pretty much all you need to do. All right, well, there you have it, folks. That's how you oil and maintain your spinning reels throughout the year. And this will help your reels be uh, more mechanically inclined. Um, it'll help your gears. It'll help the performance of your reel throughout the life that your reel is meant to live. So. Like I said, here in a year or two, this is gonna be a 30 year old reel that I have used every year since then. And it's still a workhorse. So well, I'd like to say thanks for watching. I'm Josh, you've been watching Angling Outings and get on out there and go fishing.